Hi, my name is Jamie Schrumpf. I'm the youngest son of Jack and Jerry Schrumpf from McMechan, West Virginia. My older brothers are Roger and Jay, and Alfred and Jeannie's kids are my first cousins. That should place me in the family tree for those of you that don't know me, which is probably a lot of you. When Mom died back in 2014, I made off with all the old family movies and reel-to-reel -reel audio tapes, along with the projector and the tape machine. Fortunately, when I tried to use them, it turned out they were both dead from age. The projector wouldn't move at all, and the reel-to-reel -reel smelled like it was catching fire when I tried to run it. I didn't do anything to replace them for a while, but I finally motivated myself to look around for replacements, and I found a Kodak Brownie 308mm projector for $20 on eBay. It looks just like the original from home, and works fine, though the film can be a bit finicky about staying threaded on the machine. However, there are two large reels of film that won't fit on the machine, which puzzled me. But after a bit of research on Google, I found out that there was a Brownie 500 model that would fit a larger reel. That must have been the model we had originally, so I'll either have to buy another projector or figure out a way to split each of the large reels into two small ones, but I'll worry about that later. I converted the movies I could watch into MP4 videos by the simple process of projecting them onto a nice white screen and using a Sony HD Handycam to shoot the movie straight off of it. They came out fine, though the image quality of the original film has suffered in the past 50 years or so. Some of the scenes are washed nearly completely out. Others look like they were shot in Technicolor. I can do some image processing with my video editor, so maybe I can recover some of the faded scenes. But this first video is perhaps the best original footage I have, and it's amazing. It's from our house on Schultz Street in Parkersburg, West Virginia, and is of my dad in his old robe that I remember so well. Apparently, he and Mom decided to film a bit of staged slice-of-life footage, and the result is an amazing view of 30-year-old Jack Schrumpf ambling about the house, reading, smoking, climbing into bed. I don't know what he and Mom were thinking, but considering that no one in my family here has ever seen my dad, he died the year before I met Nancy, it's great to have such a long view of him to enjoy. So without further ado, I give you my dad, Jack Schrumpf, just chilling in his crib, 1958 style. There he is, after all these years. I wish I could read lips better. I'd love to know what he just said there. Yeah, those were the days. Guy just kept a pack of cigarettes in his bathrobe and his zippo, ready to go at a moment's notice. Now notice, she was in the room ready for him when he walked in, so this wasn't just spontaneous filming. She filmed him walking out of the one room, then she went in, he went back out, and she filmed him walking in. And I have to admit, when he started taking the bathrobe off, I got a little worried, but I figured the uh, folks weren't into anything uh, weird, so... We weren't going to see anything, and I uh, noticed there he swaps out the uh, what looks like the uh, older pillow with a nice new one. Then I'm like, oh yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah. Comfy. No wait, don't go to bed. Do something. Read. And that's me, probably about two year old, drinking from a bottle, and I'll guarantee that's chocolate milk in it. And there's Jay, reading a Casper the Friendly Ghost comic book. 
And Roger reading the funny paper. It looks like the Sunday edition. Can't tell what I'm reading. Looks like it might be spooky, sparky. It, is this on? It, is the camera on? I, I can't tell. <laughs> 